All were Kadian and Bungazali sat under a tree at the foot of the hill. Woman! What I came for is done. Shall we leave? All were Kadian said. O oh Vaishnava! If the thing you came for has been accomplished, you may go. The thing I came for is not yet accomplished. Said Punghuali. What did you come for? I have brought you in search of the bad guy who killed my aunt. Didn't find him? Wasn't he in that conspirator's crowd? There he is. What's behind? Did I come to see him and pay my respects? I came to take revenge for murder. Poor. Who are we to punish the guilty? God is for that. I doubt whether God exists, yet punishes the treachery of men. Leave God alone. Kings are responsible for punishing criminals in this world. Kings appoint officials. If kings and their officers do not do their duty, how do we decide it didn't? O oh Vaishnava! One of the Bhattas there, threw down from the upper floor, and killed my dear aunt. He killed a wretched woman who could not speak with her mouth, who could not think of harm to anyone, and who had been vicious all her life. The emperor, his queens, and the officer of the Tanjore fort, Chinapulvatere, were watching. Yet he they left him to flee. Punguzali. Didn't they make any attempt to catch Saman Champavan? The emperor, who had rejected my aunt all his life, then took her in his lap and wept. The others all stood in awe. When he said, I will follow the murderer, the little rascal also got up. But he had to turn back in the tunnel. What is that? As he and I went down the tunnel, we heard a voice in the darkness. The little detective rushed towards the voice and seized the person who was there. Behold, the murderer is caught, said a voice. No, no. I did not kill, came a voice. When the little gardener knew whose voice it was, he was astonished and said, Oh! Why have you come here, said he. I have come to see if all the treasure is safe said a voice in the darkness. Oh! Goddess! What will anyone think if they see you here? Will they think you are trying to kill the emperor, said Kalantaka Kandar. Is the emperor dead, asked Madhuran Thakdavar, the lovely son-in-law of Chinapalyavatarayar, eagerly. Amazing child! Come with me! Come before anyone sees! Saying that, Kalantaka Kandar took his son-in-law's hand and led him away. Then I alone followed this murderer. Are you asking me to come back without accomplishing my purpose after coming so far, said Punguzali. Woman! You ought to have been born a boy. If you had been, you would have been the dictator of a great empire. Let it go. Hear this and give me a reason. Can a man be charged with murder who, intending to kill one, accidentally kills another. I don't understand your question. A murderer is a murderer. How can that be said? You must have heard the Ramayana. Dasarada, thinking that the elephant was drinking water, shot an arrow. It fell on the Rishi Kumar. Was Dasarada punished for the murder of the Rishi Kumar? No. Now take Saman Samhava, whom you followed. He set out to kill the emperor. But Chakraborty is alive. Your aunt came across and killed herself. She committed suicide? Then how can Saman Sambhavan be charged with murder? O oh Vaishnava! Your system of justice is wonderful. My justice is not only flawed. The justice system of Sakshad Narayana Murthy, the universal hero, is strange. In this world, sinners are prosperous. Good people, Puni Atmas, suffer and die. There must be some kind of God's justice for all this. You and your Narayana go anyway. I will fulfill the justice I know and leave. Punguzali. I did not take this speech just for you. There are two men in that mountain cave. One of them killed Adita Kari Kalar. But he did not kill Kari Kalar because he wanted to kill Kari Kalar. The knife he threw to kill someone else fell on the prince and killed him. Can he be called a murderer? Vaishnava! Don't confuse my brain! Who are those inside the mountain cave? 
the commander of the Chola Empire, the dictator of the Tanjore Palace, the valiant warrior who has fought in 24 battlefields and carries 64 marks on his thigh rumini. The Deva who commands God, the great leader of the Kunala King group. The husband of Nandini Devi, the great Palavatarayar lies in that mountain cave. All Workadian said this in a loud voice. At the same time, Ravi Dasan, Rive Dasan, Parms Waran, Saman Samhavan etc. came rushing. Pungazali suddenly stood away. Ravi Dasan had a small stick in his hand. On hearing it, Ravi Dasan said, I've Shadari Vaishnava. One of Anuradhar in love. Have you finally caught us? Out of the three attempts we made we succeeded in only one. We failed in the other two. We are no longer concerned about those failures. Have we caught you after three years of searching? This time. Can't you escape us? He said. At once all were Kadian, in a louder voice than before, Father. Who is the seeker? Who is the fleeing? All of them are the sons of that Sakshad Narayana Murthy. Can anyone move in this world without him? Ravi Dasa. You also listen. Let your people also listen. Surrender to Sakshad Mahavishnu, leaving all other minor deities. God will forgive all your sins and save you. Don't waste your life working for people and die. Worship Narayana and attain the fruit of Narayan Mam, find a place for yourself in Paramapada. We're sing along with me everyone, let's see. Lord Narayana, we all. Praise. He started singing. Ravi Dasan laughed merrily and said, Oh, Vaishnava. Isn't Sakshad Paramashiva the only deity? If you praise Paramashiva, will you get the highest rank? He said. All Workadian excitedly said, Paramashiva is the destroying deity. Narayana is the protecting deity. Have you forgotten that our Narayana Murthy saved Gajarajan who was caught in the crocodile's mouth that day? He said. Father. Lord Vishnu, who saved Gajarajan, did it to kill the crocodile? Did not your Lord Vishnu destroy Kumbhakarna, Irani Iatsa, Irani Yakasapu, Sisupalan, Tantavakaran in the same way? Said Ravi Dasan. Those who suffer at the hands of our Purumal will also attain Sakshad Sri Vakanda. After killing Iraniya, Ravana, and Sisupala, Lord gave them the rank of Vakanda. Your Paramashiva destroyed the Tripuras at once by burning his forehead and eyes. Did he give them moksha? Okay, okay. Stop your story. Let your Narayana come and save you now. Saying that, Ravi Dasan hummed the small stick in his hand. At that time Pungazali wanted to help all Alwarkadayan and took out the knife which was stuck in her waist. At the same time, she saw a female figure running from the mountain cave. For a moment she stood in awe thinking that she was her Aunt Manthakini. Then she clarified, No, this is Nandini, the Queen of Pavur. By this time, Nandini had come near Alwarkadayan. She stopped Ravi Dasan's raised cane with her hands. No. Don't do anything to my brother. Ravi Dasa. Put down the rod if I am truly your queen. She said. Alvarkadian then said, Thank you, sister, but these people could not have done me any harm. Narayanamurthy, the deity I worship, would have saved me. He said. Ravi Dasan laughed and said, How could he have saved him? Would Narayana Murthy have come today splitting this tree like he came from the pillar to save Pralada that day? He said. Sorcerer. Don't you believe my words? Good. Athobar. Look at the Ayanur temple visible in the distance. There are three horses in front of that temple, aren't there? By the grace of Sriman Narayana, those earthen horses will come to life. Mounted on them will come warriors who will take you prisoner and save me. Everyone looked at the direction Alwarkadian was pointing with his hand while saying the above. They could not believe their eyes. For it seemed to them that the earthen horse had really come to life and galloped towards them. On each horse sat a knight with a horse.